I'm Colin Robinson. I'm with Kaiso and with Cara Flags. You have been with us for the past approximately four weeks, delivering uh, in, an intense introduction into the study of sexuality and bringing that unique perspective, which is the kind of on the ground perspective, as well as obviously an academic perspective as well. Um, what would you say you discovered most from your students so far? What have you realized? That they're open, they're curious, they're engaged, and they're creative. Right. Creative in what sense? Well, I included an assignment to create uh, an actual um, policy advocacy activity. And students were not only willing, but actually um, took real world steps um, towards making the activity concrete. All right, so what were some of those, I'm curious, some of the real world steps that they suggested? Just one or two examples. You know, the, well, they all focused on sexuality education, oh. which sort of was a real issue that is mm -hmm. cross-cutting and uh, affects a whole lot of people. So, and they talked about doing uh, an educational activity, a public education activity that would raise awareness to meet people to action. And they framed it as making a PSA. And I said, okay, well, you know, we'll draft a script for a PSA. Well, people brought in a PSA. Excellent. <laughs> so. Right. So excellent, excellent. So they're actually, you know, trying to see it applied in the real world. Mm -hmm. Are there any points of concern or things that you discover really needs urgent attention from your perspective, from what they have said and discussed and, you know, tried to come to terms with? You mean in terms of the understanding of Trinidadian sexualities, Trinidadian and Tobagonian sexualities? Well, what we've tried to do, what I've encouraged them to do, is to test the theorizing, both you know, regional theorists as well as kind of global theorists' um, ideas against their own experience. Um, uh, it's been, I think, a bit of a struggle for some folks um, in terms of, you know, we never ask people to do that. Um, uh, but no, I haven't found, um, I haven't found any broad areas of concern. If anything, I've been encouraged that a broad range of people found inquiry around sexuality valuable in some way to show for a cause. Excellent. And on that note, what do you think would be for you the most outstanding, memorable, or just significant part of this whole experience? Hmm. Um... I mean, I've not been to class every day. I've been been there for a few sessions mm -hmm. other than the ones that involved me. So I've heard of memorable right, right. <laughs> moments. A uh, surprising one for me was actually um, hearing the audio on this P PSA that will be presented right. today. Right, the creative yeah. element. You no, know, the people actually implemented it, not just as a concept, but uh, materially. Excellent, excellent. Well, I have to ask you one more thing. What's the next step in terms of this whole project of um, dealing with problematizing and educating about sexuality? Well, I don't think there's a single next step, and mm -hmm. I think that some of those next steps are around IGDS decisions about what you're interested in doing, um, how whether this makes sense to institutionalize to do in a different way. Um, I know that other parts of the university have expressed interest in um, taking up some of the resources. Um, uh, I'm hoping that the students will have learnt new insights uh, that they can apply in a citizen, as nation builders. One of the amazing things about IGDS has been the way in which I've seen the work that happens in, in classrooms here infuse a certain kind of social consciousness in uh, particular generations and if we can build on and broaden that and deepen the piece of that that relates to sexualities um, I think that's a huge next step for the nation. Excellent, thank you.